legendary guy. He we had a beautiful show last week with him, uh, he and his Purple Heart folks and all the military families around the country. God bless them. Yep. He's on the radio tonight, Mike. He's on radio tonight, 7 o'clock. Every Friday. Time, uh, 8 o'clock. Yep, very cool. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to read this post. This is from a few days ago, but this is this is responding to a big issue they had going on. It's all the interesting stuff's always behind the scenes, isn't it, Mikey? You know, yep. secrets on the inside. You know, James McCormick. It is a shame that I even have to post this, but had a news crew. Con- but I had a news crew contact me about a man claiming to have a purple heart, and we could not verify his award. And we a- and uh, when asked to simply verify it. He threw a fit. Bottom line, no legitimate Purple Heart recipient cares uh, if you ask to give them proof of their award. The legitimate veterans out there are getting fed up with the frauds and fakes, trying to get a few minutes of fame telling lies to boost their egos and take advantage of good patriotic people who often buy meals, drinks, etc. when they meet veterans. Yep. This happens every year. Yep. And I, and I see more and more frauds claiming purple hearts now than I've seen in a long time. Some of you know that a man and his wife have been extremely mad at me and others with military phonies who expose these jokesters. These clowns have spent the last few years stalking me over her husband and being exposed and publicly called out over claiming to be combat wounded and having two purple hearts. Truth is, he never even served outside the U.S. was never part of any secret missions, black ops, or any other BS they still try to claim. So don't be fooled by these frauds. Uh, they will go to extreme lengths to try and gain benefits, benefits, money and fame, and they want to, then and they want to do all they can to delegitimize and leg, the uh, legitimate veterans and organizations that work very hard to maintain the integrity of service. No legitimate veteran will ever be upset over providing proof of honorable service. So please don't be afraid to ask for it. Captain James McCormick. Yeah. Uh, so my my little uh, trip down this road started back in our GCN days, like I said, by reaching out to uh, uh, Senior Chief Don Shipley. And he's a gruff guy. And, uh, you know, he's a tough old guy. 